Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So in this video we'll be learning to add echo effect or a reverb effect to our audio. So I have an audio in my timeline. Let me show you what this audio has got. We'll be adding echo effect or reverb effect to this audio. Okay. So I'll just go to the effects panel and type in reverb. So you have um, three set of reverb effects in the audio effects folder but in this case I'll be using the convolution reverb and just drag this onto my audio layer like this. Once you do that you have a different settings available for the convolution reverb in the edit section here and you have different uh, presets here for the impulse um, property. So in this case I'll just use the um, lecture hall and if I start playing the audio this is how it sounds we'll be adding echo effect or reverb effect to this audio so you have different set of options um, in this case I'll use another preset called the singularity and if I start playing this is how we can notice the reverb or the echo effect we'll be, be adding, adding echo, echo effect, effect or, or reverb, reverb effect, effect to this, this audio, audio. You can always tweak the room size as well as the pre-delay that you have here and depending on your requirement you can always tweak the mix and the width as well you know to get the best out of the reverb effects that you have. Will be adding echo effect or reverb effect. Um, I also have another um, preset called medium sized cave and if I start playing this. As I told you, you can tweak these values available here to get the desired echo or the reverb to your audio. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to talk with me, you can always connect with me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.